Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. Look who I got here today. You're going to love this guy. This is Jake. This is Jake Lang. Jake Lang is the. I tracked him down, man. Fucking, I don't know how I found him. Uh, but he's the he's the yellow vest. Uh, the video I did yesterday on the yellow vest uh, movement down on uh, Wall Street. His his view is to get there, uh, start a revolution to remove the Fed. Right. So in my view, this has been one of the um, one of the most poignant. Uh, 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 views on what the yellow vests should be looking at, because if you look in France and all that, they they don't seem to know exactly. They they're out, they're in numbers, but they don't know exactly what uh, to ask for. And so when I found uh, Jake's uh, Jake's uh, uh, call to you know January first, get out uh, and march against the Federal Reserve, I was excited. So so we got Jake here. What's up, Jake? Hey Marcus, how's it going? Thanks for having me on, brother. Thank you very much for for uh, for taking it on. So just just tell us about tell us about the. Go ahead. You you wouldn't believe the the amount of people um, that also have the can, kind of same view as you. It's hard to reach me, stuff like that. A lot of people calling me Russian bot. A lot of people thinking that my account's fake and stuff because we did hit the scene so hard here. Uh, I made the website probably around three weeks ago and right. made the Facebook page around three weeks ago, just seeing what the French people were able to do and how uh, literally hundreds of thousands of them were able to hit the streets and, you know, you know protest against government raising the taxes, uh, central banking. And uh, they have a lot of uh, they have a term in, in French are using the word usury, which is lending out money at uh, rates that basically people, you know, the people can't pay, pay back. So that's a whole entire central banking issue that is rooting out through every single different form of our society. You see our schools are, are crumbling because they're underfunded. You see the entire society is basically affected because they're taking our money and giving us debt dollars instead. Right. Every year, the inflation goes up, the, pa the buying power of our dollar goes down, and basically not to get used to every single year living with just a little bit less and less money and eventually the buck's got to stop somewhere and we see all these huge uh, inflations and depressions in our economy coming and going and basically we we figured it out it's a federal reserve it's fractional reserve lending and that's what the yellow vest movement here in america is really focusing on we have a lot of other focuses that stem out from the, the owners of the, the Federal Reserve and their owners, um, the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, um, they have adverse uh, direction for our world. They don't have the same plan we do. They want to see everybody controlled and microchipped and taxed, basically, until uh, they're all just working bots for the government. So we see this, you know, a lot of us uh, truthers, truth movement people used to claim books like 1984 claim different um conspiracy theories and stuff but we don't have to claim those anymore we have a billion people living in uh communism in socialism right now in china where they have the street lights and the cameras are all facial recognition tracking and it ties into their their social security number and they can't get um Business loans, if they don't, uh, let's say they speak out against the government online, they can't get a business loan, they can't get a job, they can't get a high plane train ticket, high speed uh, train ticket or a plane ticket out of wherever they live. So they're literally in complete control of what they do, say, move, think, where, and how much money they earn and everything by the government. They have a social credit system. It's all about socialism, totalitarianism, and having control of the people. Our movement is very liberty-based, very sovereignty-based. We're all about giving the people the power, the people the power to decide where they want to spend their money, who they want to associate with, what they say, what they do. Like, man was created free. So we're trying to bring back the liberty movement, trying to bring back a lot of the freedoms that we've slowly lost throughout the years. And it starts at the heart of it, at the monetary system, because that's where all the control and the power really comes from. From right. these elites. So January, uh, you I mean, mentioned that a lot. The elites. Yeah, the elites, no doubt. I, uh, we, I agree completely with that. That the, uh, it is the federal banking system. Also, so January first, just to be clear on the event, January first, at seven a.m. You guys are going to meet out. Uh, you're going to yellow. 
what kind of participation have you have you uh, uh, any buzz? So we're we're changing it from January first at seven to January first at eleven a.m. Because oh. there's some there's some noise laws here that uh, yeah. in the city you have to be quiet until nine a.m. Okay. So I'm gonna be there around nine a.m gathering up everything setting up all the vests i'm buying around a thousand to two thousand yellow vests good um setting everything up i got i got mine it's right it's right behind me i got mine already so you gotta you can save one (laughs) i see that um so we're gonna have the vests ready we're gonna have all the signage make sure if you're gonna bring signs make sure they're cardboard tubes not um metal or wooden tubes Mm -hmm. attached to them because in NY, in New York here, the NYPD is very strict about that. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be setting up a lot of different signage, um, a lot of different yellow vest distribution, and going to be signing petitions. Uh, we just made a White House petition, uh, petition today to Donald Trump to get uh, the Federal Reserve out. He's been talking about it a lot recently. He's been down talking. Yeah, he's been down talking to Fed. The Fed's uh, move to keep like, jacking yeah. up the the interest rate. Well, one of the reasons why. Um, he's had my support recently is mm-hmm. because of him talking about bringing the, uh, the dollar back to the gold standard and, and getting rid of the Federal Reserve. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if, if he's able to pull off that and uh, the North Korea peace treaty, I think that he's definitely going to go down as one of the greatest presidents ever, regardless of how much of a buffoon he is. Um, he, he Hopefully he's going to end the Federal Reserve uh, with us, with the American people, and solve uh, the, 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 the Korean War crisis. So, that's pretty good um other than all of his rhetoric which is decisive and pretty stupid a lot of the time he does have some big plays he can make here mm-hmm. and i'm a championship winner I'm not, I, I don't i don't think about all the season games i think about the championship and where where it comes mm-hmm. you know, you let me play where it matters. jake let me let me jump in here let's roll it back to to france all right france now we're all seeing the gilets jaunes in the streets in france right and they're they're not they're not i need, i know the mainstream media here bbc uh, cnn msnbc are trying to paint it as kind of a radical movement saying it's let, a let, me let me finish let me finish let me finish let me finish let me ask the question i'm the interviewer <laughs> so, so the gilets jaunes is they're trying to paint it as being more of a radical movement but when in my view when i've gotten down to it and uh, i've watched you know 50 videos that uh, people have sent me and it seems that it's just the the middle class working class mostly white working class middle class of france that are very very simply priced out right they pay they need they need 1400 euro to and they only got 700 euro to live and the, the biggest complaint is that they're running out of money at by the end of the month now that's very similar to what's going on in the United States right here right now right 100% so that I mean that essentially you know we can we can talk about the the bigger picture but what I like to you know at least look at for the common person what is what is going on why is there one in seven people on food stamps in the country why does 80% of the country you know is living paycheck to paycheck with two and a half jobs well, and why the, why the, why do words, most people words that answer that Say again. Three words. Three yeah. words answer that, and it's because of global practice called fractional reserve lending. And yeah. in fractional reserve lending, basically every single time they create more money, it actually becomes devalued because right. they're not backing it up with anything. Right. The Federal Reserve has no reserves; it's not backed by anything. The only reserve right. they would have would be numbers on a screen, printing out more money. Right. The Fed. The Fed back. increases their debt. And then they put the debt on the people. Like if you have a student loan or if you have a credit card, you must pay. Their debt gets thrown into a fictional mortgage, mortgage rates right mortgage, now. Yeah. There, there's a housing bubble crisis coming yeah. right now. Right now, um, around a, a six hundred thousand uh, dollar mortgage to buy a house. By the time you pay that thirty year mortgage back, it could be up to one point five uh, million dollars. Yeah, it's thirty. It's thirteen. The number is thirteen point five trillion dollar mortgage alone debt another trillion in student loans there's maybe two and, trillion in you know, you, credit cards they're making it so even if you want to save up and buy a house and get out of the city and get out of the rat race here can't do it they're not letting you. they're forcing everybody to have less and less money 
less and less quality of life, forcing everybody into the cities. Right. This is where the UN comes in and a lot of their. We're going to get into it. We're going to get you. You keep saying they, and we're going to. I want to get into that with you. We'll get into a, a. Uh, we'll knock heads on that one in a second, right? Because when when you say they and I say they, there's a lot of they's out there. So we need to. Let's like get. Let's we're gonna. We'll try to uh, 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 narrow down who they are. And and what what a uh, what what I think is a legitimate way forward, and then of course what you think is a legitimate. I just want to look at some of the, some of the stuff on your on your site, right? No central banks, right? We we all agree with that. That's that's a a uh, given that the banks, the banking industry, the big six industry, they they got to go. J P Morgan, Goldman Sachs, they they they're, they're wrecking the economy, right? We agree. Do we agree on that? They're they're hoarding all the wealth, yeah. and they are committing usury every day they're blending out money uh, right. which they know nobody can pay back because of the rates and they're right. actually creating money based on debt the federal right. reserve is writing treasury bonds to the united states right. government and, and the united states government's issuing currency to pay back those treasury bonds there's no gold there's no reserves involved in nope. that money the system. stock market and the stock market as well is the same bubble it's it's it, uh, Banks will create block. Tr they'll they'll short a million shares of stock they don't no, even no. own. The, so the, it, it's a cross. Yeah. Through fractional reserve lending and, yeah. and non gold or non precious metal backed money lending, they have been able to run wild since 1913 in the United States and uh, everywhere else for for way longer. Basically, um, controlling not even the world's governments, but um, like Kissinger says, or um, or actually one of the, the Rothschilds, he doesn't care who controls the, the government as long as he controls the, the money circulation. Okay. And the money thing. Follow so, the money. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's very easy to follow the money, and, and that's what we're doing here. That's why the, the movement spreads so quickly. Thousands of people RSVPing on Facebook. Uh, we have some posts with over a 1,000 shares, and you know this, this Facebook page was made 16 days ago, you know, and mm -hmm. we have some There's interest. And we have some posts that, sorry, mm -hmm. I just That's had a phone okay. call come in. Uh -huh. And we have some posts that, um, you know, I've, I've gone super viral already. Thousands of shares, hundreds and hundreds of comments on, on just some Facebook posts we've had already. And you can see that people, like you said, they're getting to the end of the month. There's not enough money there. Right. They're looking to the government to save them. And that's where the mouse gets caught in the cheese trap. Right. They're, it, it, it's a war of arbitration the Federal Reserve and the New World Order has against the people. And if they can make it so that you're not able to afford your own means of survival and um, self-sufficiency, you can't afford the water tanks, you can't afford the solar panels, you can't afford enough property to have your own garden, to have your own livestock. If you can't afford to live that lifestyle, be self-sufficient, it's a war of arbitration. They keep on making everybody poorer, more government subsidies, more government programs, more government housing, push everybody into the inner cities, and bam, everybody's facial recognition in the inner cities, living off all the government Obama phones, quote-unquote, Obama housing, all these different government programs, and you have no capability to, to fend for yourself. You have no weapons. You have no voice. They took away your voice. And you look and you turn around, and America turns into China. We used to say, oh, it was like some uh, – mystery you know when we say oh they take all your guns and they'll take your freedom of speech well what would that look like we used to have to it looks like country. it look out your window that's what it'll look like because it's happening exactly so it's it's you know, already well, happened this is the cheese you know and 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 they're trying to take away all your money and your power to, to sustain yourself and then give you the oh here's all of the great uh, government schools and the government housing and the government phones and the government food stamps and the government this and that and they're taking away your power, your manhood, your your womanhood to fend for yourself, to protect yourself, to protect your family, to raise up your own uh, lifestyle and means of survival. And they're trying to replace it with them. Here's government's big daddy. Government, here's whatever you need. We got it for you. Right. And the American way and the American spirit has never been about that. So that's why. You know, I'm so against socialism. You know, I'm against these big banks and stuff because the system all works systematically or works like a machine put together well. And 
Yeah. Well, socialism. Let me let me let me let me interject for one second. When you say socialism and capitalism, did you use you use the two? No, communism. A oh, communism. All right. So socialism. Would you agree that what the banks have, the agreement that the six large banks and the Fed have with the uh, American government, right? Whatever we call well, that. Well, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me take the question. Give you the question. So when you say would the you, banks and the United States government, there would be no difference in your worldview that you have, and 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 pretty much a uh, same right. person's worldview. Right. So you would say, you say banks, would you say that the banks have socialism, are in a in a system of socialism? They're taking the unchecked. In your definition of socialism, because I'm not really sure what well, your definition your would be. In socialism. No, so I'm. I, my question is: I'll rephrase my question. Is is the is what the banks is the agreement, the deal, the arrangement, the relationship, the banks to the United States government? How the United States government caters to the banking industry right here, right now? Is that is that in your view a socialism system, a system of socialism for the rich? Yes or no? Um, it's a very convoluted question because I don't know um, how private minting of money re reflects to uh, a, a system of running government. But what I can tell you about it is right now they're a private institution, which normally is a good thing. But the government should only have three branches that should not be privatized because they need to be controlled by the people. They should the judicial, the executive, and legislation branches. Right. So these ones are the ones where you're voting and you're putting in your dem your democratic power to you say this person right here I think is a good person. I think that I have a nine to five job and I, I can't vote on money making issues and law issues all day. I'm going to vote them into office and they're going to make my decisions for me. Right. In that democratic system, we would appoint the right people to the Federal Reserve chair the gov if the federal reserve was a nationalized currency the chair and the people in it would be voted on by the american people they'd be democratic and the system in which we issued the currency would not be fractional reserve lending it would be backed by precious gold or by blockchain technology something where there's an actual reserve something where if you spend too much money in the iraqi war you can't just print out another four trillion dollars right. to make to make up for it. a system of banking where the people in the in a democratic government own the means of, of, of that. But in all other forms of government, you, or all other forms of government oversight, the schools, the the, the water, the uh, the police departments, all these other things, these can be done, and they, and they are being done way better by private companies. When rich kids have, um, rich kids send their kids to school, do they send them to public school? No, they send them to private school. Do they have private security? Do they have, uh, or do they rely on the police officers just randomly walking around to, to, to protect them? Do you, does uh, the United States government work better than FedEx or UPS? Uh, no, you can see that by mm -hmm. consistent having to bail out. The, the, the All right, private system. versus private versus versus federal. Well, we All have right. certain things that should be privatized. I mean, when you go to court, you shouldn't be going to private court. No. <laughs> All right. So you got a couple other things. You got a couple other. Let me let me let me, let me go. Let's let's move on. So we got you some. Have the unified word of law and the government protecting right, right. all the people's. Right. Would you agree rights? that That's that the that the Constitution has pretty much been eradicated in this country and now is being the judicial, the executive, and the uh, legislative branch is being dictated by these the oligarchy, these, the oligarchy right and what how do you define it, how it, how, how are you how are you defining like, how are you defining oligarchy who is the oligarchy we are defining it more than just business um leaders running the government we're also talking about religious zealots um these are people in the highest forms of of government and power that, that have adverse beliefs to regular religion so these people they don't worship God. They they would worship Satan, and they would try. Yeah, but to how did how did they how did they affect freedom of religion? But how did they reflect? I don't care about people's are, religion. They, how did they affect the banking system? How did they affect the Federal Reserve and the money supply? People, so there are meetings, secret meetings, and, and yeah. meetings that have been so uh, been uh, exposed called the Trilateral Commission, Bilderberg meetings, stuff where these oligarchs, the the top um, 
people in the Jesuits, in, in, right. the, in the Vatican, okay. the top people in the Jews, in, in the cabal, the Israel. top people in the Muslim community. They send their leaders to meet up with the Fortune 500 company leaders and to meet up with the Secretary of State and to meet up with all three of the institutions, these huge institutions that run our world in the back end. They send their top of their top, their cream of their crop, to meet up at the Bilderberg conferences and the trilateral commissions at the uh, UN on the Council of Foreign Relations. All these things are considered an elite, elitist group meetups. And a lot of the people at the very, very pinnacle of these meetups, even behind the scenes, they would not be what you would see on our on our government seal and on our on our uh, government says we believe in God and God we trust. Mm-hmm. They actually do the opposite of that. They uh, not don't believe in God, but they in devil we trust. They are pushing right. for. The how do you how do you how do you stop someone from what what this then becomes not, religious? This is not uh, your church of Satan coming. that you see all these. The Illuminati. People. The Illuminati. You going to the Illuminati party in Brooklyn? Well, Come on down. This is not the Church of Satan that you see um, doing little protests down your street here with yeah. off members. And this is not your local Freemasons yeah. that are in their their, their, it's their than know, um, Sunday like outfits hanging out at the at the Freemason lodges. This is a much more contrived, a much more highly organized and secretive. Uh, group of people that our, our late and great president John F. Kennedy uh, died um, speaking about and, right. and, and trying to expose to secret societies, religious zealots, people that are in the highest forms of power and, and sometimes behind the curtains and uh, a lot of times right in front of your face, the Pope, Obama, people like this that are trying to push socialism, trying to push government control. And whether God or Satan in, in this equation is, is, is an actual force and the, the Bible, the biblical uh, prophecies actually coming true is not uh, of my greatest, greatest, greatest concern to speak about always because there are people in power who do believe in the biblical prophecy, in the God and Satan, uh, uh, Jesus um, story, and they're trying to enact their beliefs and their prophecies and, and, and their power over you and what they think Satan would like or what they think Satan uh, would do and, and okay. how he would control the media and how he All right. would push so, so, so um, some of the some of the people and kids and, uh, I, I tend to I tend to basically. believe I tend to believe that a lot of the oligarchs worship the, the, the thing that they worship is is the money, is the cash. That's I mean I, I could tell you like Lloyd Blankfein at Goldman Sachs, right? I was actually in attendance at his daughter's wedding, right, at the at the at the library, Fifth Avenue Library, for 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 a reason that wouldn't make sense right now anyway. But I could tell you that that guy could care less about Jewish, Catholic, anything else, right? He's running Goldman Sachs, or was up to three months ago. And my finding with these people is that they they really don't. Most of them, in my experience, right, they don't care what religion or. The, they, all they care about is the money, right? Guys like Soros. Power, also. power, and power, money, power, and money. power are hand in hand. Right. And so we got, we got like, we got like, uh, we're at twenty three minutes. So we just, we're just another, another. Let's keep it under a half an hour, about seven, seven more minutes. I want to ask you. We've talked. I think we agree. I agree with you on the, the problem. I agree that, it is the banks. It is the Federal Reserve. It is the system of, of liquidity and debt. Right. And I believe that we are in a debt bubble. You're now seeing that reflect in the stock market where it's it's going down because it's and in, in conjunction with Trump's move towards uh, taking people, taking us out of interventionist wars because there's a lot of money in war. Right. So he's pulling out of the wars. He's he's challenging the federal Fed Reserve. Why are you jacking the interest rate when the economy, you know, Trump is guilty, though. He keeps saying the economy has never been so good right now. So the Fed's saying, okay, well, we'll jack up the, the interest rate, right? And so he's, in, in effect, he created his own problems, sort of. Yeah, but you're, you're talking about problems in, 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 in existing inside the matrix of power and yeah. the systematic control that they've had since our Social Security number was slapped on us at birth. Let's get, in, let's get into the solution. All right, so you have, you, have six, you have five plan here, right? Ban central banks, right? Agree, right? Get them out. Get them out. So when you say central banks, do you also include breaking up the big six, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, the all those best guys? Thing, the best way to prevent the new world order and, mm-hmm. and 
this plan is to decentralize everything. Okay. Oh, okay. Create everything sovereign. Okay. You know, when you have um, 400 world currencies in circulation, it's right. much less harder to control and to get everybody into. Are you a cryptocurrency guy? Are you a crypt are you a cryptocurrency guy? Do you hold any positions? I don't hold any positions in cryptocurrency. Okay. Blockchain technology, um, the technology that secures the unbreakable code that secures all these transactions and right. um, is the best thing to come out of cryptocurrency. Because cryptocurrency, in my opinion, is one of the um, three regu government regulated positions that that the government should be taking that is in control 100% of the people. Because if you remember, the government is just, a, well, yeah, United States government specifically, is just a form of organization to protect individual rights. The only reason mm -hmm. we have a government in the United States is because we needed a Bill of Rights that if anybody were to try to infringe on one of our Bill of Rights, the rest of our, our, of our people, our government, would get the justice okay. for that. So, so be, let's, and, let's move on to number two, ban politics. Ban po political parties. I agree. Why? Why? Why should there it's only a be radical idea that, that starts it's so with simple? The Libertarian Party. It, yeah. it starts with the Libertarian Party because I'm a Libertarian. Okay. Not, I'm not a Libertarian Party member, but I'm a Libertarian in my beliefs: non-aggression policy, non-forced action, and every single from the top to bottom, everything in our world should be voluntary. There's no reason you have to wake up in some gutted out system where if you don't produce and you don't pay your tax all of a sudden you end up in jail and all this stuff it's absolutely insane everything needs to be voluntary humans are very smart and we know what our basic needs are and there's no problem with hiring out a private company to do the roads are you on goal. are you on board with uh getting money out of politics because if you yes. want to ban parties that's fairly easy well, to do I'm but you have to get the money there's out there's no reason why you can't go and freely associate yourself with the company that is going to fix your roads or the school that your kids go to. There's no reason why you can't come up with your own subscription plans and the community can't pay for those things themselves without the government stealing your money and then saying, okay, we're going to get some. So Senate, Senate and Congress, get the money out of politics, maybe have public elections? It goes. Campaign well, finance law? Basically, the reason why I'm talking about privatizing that is because. Privatizing. <laughs> Privatizing, privatizing Senate and Congress? Government. It's already I'm privatized, sir. It's already privatized. You got the Koch brothers pumping eighty million dollars uh, uh, into some sometimes one candidate. They 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 put in nine hundred million dollars last uh, last. Uh, I haven't touched on uh, the question. The question yet. Yeah. I was still giving the pretext to, oh. uh, to the question of okay. of, of uh, why we want to ban political parties it's because right. the money gets involved. Uh, uh, on every single level, and as soon as you start having political parties with money involved, uh, it becomes running it like a business. And you know, businesses should be left to the private sector. And elections are obviously government and democratic sector. So you can't mix blood and money there. Right. So you need to get the money out of politics. Okay. The easiest way to do that is to ban political parties because then you're not going to have organizations that are developed to you know to be very efficient and to. to collect as much money as possible and to win yeah, but how are you gonna how do you how do you get the voice of the people if you wanna if you wanna get if you wanna okay you don't you're not I don't think you are you're in agreement to get money out of politics in a in a traditional way you're saying break up the political parties the two major parties and that in effect is breaking up is getting money out of politics I mean it, it had been for her super PAC super PAC uh, exists you'll still so have you'll still have tycoons like like uh, Bloomberg who's not a Democrat or Republican he's he's ready to spend a billion dollars to run for the presidency you won't stop yeah, a guy like Obama that Obama spent far more uh, that, yeah. not of his own no money. of his own money of his own money no, I, yeah, I know and so did Trump of his own money too All but right. I mean that, that that's um, getting okay. money out of politics is different there because you're talking about limiting the power of somebody to uh, express themselves on a global Yes, I, I am I am so, I am saying exactly so that, sir. You, you have to do that. You can't you can't have stuff. monopolies in Congress. You can't have billionaires buying elections anymore. That's that's why you have to get the money out of politics. Not you could break up the, the parties, but you have to by public financing the elections, uh, capping it at a hundred grand. You then the you parties. get the voice of the person, not the voice of the money. See, money is not speech. 
according to Citizens United it is, but really money is money, right? Money is not your speech or my speech or the guy down the no, block or the, the guy who just dropped the mail. In the way that you can't tell me right now, Jake, I don't want you to spend $800 a day on Facebook ads to, to push your face and your beliefs and what you want to say out there. You can't go buy... Uh, 20,000 pieces of paper and buy an ink pressing machine and go and create a bunch of flyers. Money is speech in a certain way because money enables you to, to reach different mediums and right. say, okay, I want to advertise on Facebook. I want to advertise on Google. I want to make... But that's that's the that's the very stuff. thing. So, at some point, you have to cap it. Would you agree that... What, what are you going to cap? Say, okay, you can only send out 10,000 leaflets. No, no, no. You cap it at, say, $10 million income, right? For example, if a business... We'll talk about that next because you're saying ban taxes, people, and that's well. Well, let's let's move into that one. Let's move into that one because I think that that explains uh, that that will uh, reveal a little something too. So, your your third your third of the five plan is to ban taxes. Okay, now that means nobody pays any tax whatsoever. It's a, it, it just like society started with sticks and stones, uh, and it was an evolution. Right. The transition off of taxes is an evolution. It's not, hey, one day all of a sudden all your kids. But are what if what if someone what if one person has the six and stones and the other one has a a a uh, modern day uh, assault rifle and a tank, and you're you're asked to compete, which is you're it's uncompetable at this point. That's what income and wealth inequality is all about. That's why you have protests in the street because the income and wealth inequality in the, in You're countries like France have 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 expanded the so well. Doesn't pay you any more money to be socialist. You're just yeah. getting. You're, you're throwing more slurs. That's a you're 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 falling into the paradigm of slurring anyone who talks about tax as that's a corporate trap, my friend. You fall into the trap of anyone who Taxation talks about anyone is, who mentions you just did it. Anybody who mentions tax or tax the bank is a socialist. That's what you just said, right? Because I yes. said, I say, okay, all right. So, so you agree that your terminology, your terminology of taxation is socialism. That's what you're saying. That's what that's what your yellow vest movement is. My definition okay. of both of those terms. I mean, taxation is your government taking money away that you earned it and redistributing it to, to everybody else. Okay. How do you how do you stop? Okay, you remove the Fed, right? How do you stop the banks that have all the money and all the power, that own everyone's property, control everyone's job in this country, control the floats of, of 10,000 publicly traded companies, right? You don't want to tax them? You want them, you You're want to pull the Fed out of the way and you want to give them free reign? Are you fucking out of your mind? We're under the assumption that the governments and the banks and the, and the, and the multi-trillion dollar national companies uh, that aren't even on the Forbes list um, are all under the same umbrella and all working together. So why would we give them the absolute supreme power to take money out of our paycheck before it even gets there and put it right in their coffers to then take 80% of it, keep it for themselves? I'm not talking about individual tax. I'm not talking about individual tax. Individual tax, in my view, should be less than ten percent. No, 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 no. Your, your. Listen to me. Your. Let, let me back up. There's, there's a one percent ruling class in this country. In case you haven't noticed, right? There's one percent of the country that you're talking about in terms of they corporate. Let me finish. Anything. I'm gonna. I'll give you a chance to speak. Come on. Right? So you've got, you've got the one percent oligarchy, banks. Global elites, all these fucking no, guys. It's more like point oh 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 one. All right, so it's even less, right? It's even less, right? So, yeah, but it's not the rich people. The people that can the it's, corporate it's the taxation, corporate taxation the in this country should rich be. People made every single country and every single advancement and innovation okay. and, and everything we have. All right, so so when now, we talk about tax, there's two taxes we're talking about. We're talking about sorry, we're talking about tax of individuals. And we're talking about corporate tax. You you understand the difference, right? Corporate tax is corporations that are ten million dollars or more, or you know, floats on these banks are two trillion dollars right now in I, market cap, I, right? I'm 
You don't want to tax him. From a family with um, lots of different opportunities. You might as well be Ted Cruz. You might as well be Ted. You're singing the same tune as Ted Cruz. Abolish the the IRS and let it. We've been able, the tax rate that we've seen Mm -hmm. since I've grown up to to now and the hard work, all the employees my dad has and the hard work he does, has been atrocious. He's getting taxed 50% of all the money he makes. (laughs) <laughs> and it's his money. What kind of he's company? It. He's out there up there every day, four in the morning. Though the people that are collecting food stamps in, in, in Georgia off of off of my dad's tax money, off of my tax right. money from my see a lot of people. Business. I'll stop you there because a lot of people are insulted when you say the those people over there in the middle of the country. When have I you ever have you ever? When was the last time you've been to Georgia? Georgia? When was the last time you've been to Georgia? Have you ever actually ever gotten out of? The, the cubicle of New York, because I'm in the same city as you. I may be in Brooklyn right now, but I spent the yeah. last 20 years in Manhattan, right? So oh, I know the bubble. I know the bubble. The and the most of the people in this country, when you say, oh, they're fucking stupid and lazy and they're on food stamps, what you're failing to, what you're failing to realize is that the economy has screwed them royally. And that, uh, hence the... Well, I the, didn't say they're stupid or lazy or, or any of those things, but what I did say... You feel like you're carrying their people. weight. That's what I, you said. You're carrying them because you're smarter and more savvy, and you, you're, and your 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 family has more money. Is what I will say is that no one has the rights to anybody else's production or 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 work hours. So the amount of money you make from your work doesn't mean oh look at that guy over there I can start to take from his work. You are pro- your your hours who you are and your labor. You're, you're going. Your you're not hearing what I'm saying. You're I'm with you money, on that. I'm with you on. Supremely, it is a sovereign connection. I'm you. with you when on you on individual tax. A corporation is not an individual. It's a corporation. Pr- no, it's when not. You build up a corporation. It's when you not. Build up a company. You are still making your money. And what happens when you go bankrupt in a corporation? What happens? You're not. Nobody's liable. The corporation is not a person. You're, ta- you're talking about. It's not, you can't invent, you're inventing, you're inventing, you don't want to invent money. You don't want to invent money, but you want to invent fake people and call them a corporation and, and have them treated like a, like a person. That's what it sounds like. So, so again, I, 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 I agree with you. Individual tax, maybe, yeah, maybe in a, in a perfect society, they shouldn't be paying, but the only way, sir. The only way, sir, is to the only way to deflate the banks and the corporations is not regulation. You're not going to regulate them. You eliminate the Fed. They will start eating people. They will start eating people. You must tax them. To redistribute wealth, it's called socialism and taxation. No, I'm not saying people should be starving in the street. Our social security programs we have for the elderly, for the veterans, for the homeless. Those, I'm not saying overnight. Those How do you people, pay for all that stuff? People, How do you pay for the police and the program. fire department? We're talking about How do you programs. pay for it? No and tax. Full of people. Those people should never be displaced. They should never lose the benefits and the things they have now. Yeah. So you want to privatize the police and the fire department and the sanitation and privatize everything, no tax? Yes, we still have laws, of course, and, and all of our costs for all of those Privatize things. the yeah. police. What about the military? Privatize them, too? You can't privatize uh, one of the branches of government. Okay, but, fair uh, enough. <laughs> so know, we're, ta- we're talking about complete privatization, and it's going to open up prosperity in everybody's wallets to be able to say, look, we have a police force here with, you know, uh, basically 20 people sitting behind the desks, and we have four or five people out on patrol every day, and they're spending up all this money. This is that. If it was privatized, the whole entire company would be paid on a subscription. How do you? From how do you? Community from the, I'm talking, okay, it's I'm futuristic, talking. and I, I like, I like, I like what you're saying. But how do you? How do we get from I'm in, from? I'm in the middle of of, of, a, 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 of a talking an advanced idea of a subscription-based, localized, privatized police business model, and I can't get out a louder word. Right. It, not anything that's in existence. I don't want no private police. I don't want no private police coming up knocking on my door. I don't like no, the I don't like the government police. The, I, the, the thing about um, police 
cases they're, they're they're paid by the government so they're just going out looking for crimes because they have minimums they have to be yeah, something like that quotas. when you have a privatized police it would be in a local area they'd just be responding to calls and to, to things of that yeah. nature. like what they did in little rock you remember what they like did in little they rock do, what, they, what the fire what the fire department does right. put out flyers <laughs> So, so let's, um, what else we got here? So, uh, reestablish the constitution. You got banned socialism. I, I haven't heard your definition of socialism, so I'm going to, I'll leave that one alone. I think, I think you're still in the past. I think when you take money from, from, uh, the entire amount of people living on a certain continent or a certain border. So do you think that do you, you forcibly take money from them and you redistribute it? Like tax. Okay. So, so forcibly how do you taking money and distributing well socialism i'll give you the Taxes. last word i'll give you the last word but how do you how do you how do you see what 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 we have right now is a banking industry run amok that you have you have what's called monopoly now you're a smart guy you look it up and you see what monopoly is you look it up and you see oligarchy monopoly you can't win right the american people can't win in the current system right so I think you agree that you have to, you can't have J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs and, and Citigroup and Bank of America and, and, and you can't have these huge Amazon and, 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 and fucking Apple. You can't have these huge trillion dollar corporations and then you expect uh, you and me, we're going to go down the block and we're going to start a computer store and we're going to compete with uh, Microsoft. It's unrealistic. At some point, capitalism it's, tops out, that, and that, you have to break it, reset it, as FDR said, a new deal for the American people. I think that's what the French people are saying. I think you disagree with that notion. I, I the think only that reason capitalism is not making it so you and your and, and your family's wallets are stuffed up because uh, it's topped out. Higher. It's topped it's because out because of the banks. When right. you have a free market and you have a bill of rights that's protecting us, when you have everybody's able to express How are you going to do it if you have money in politics? The politicians are taking market. their money. The oligarchy pays the politicians, you know? That's who. That's how, the, that's how they stay afloat. If you don't take out the banks, if you don't take out the banks in a, in a, in a cognitive way, in a, in, a, in a systematic way, the best way is is to tax them 80% and deflate them and then figure it out later. Once you've deflated their power, then Bro, people's... you saying tax them and the people that would tax them are their cousins, the Rothschild's cousins that they put as a shadow puppet. No. Leader. You have to, now, you have to seize we're power. We're talking about the United States. We're talking about central banks all around the world. So you're going to have the, 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 the Bank of England get taxed. How many bankers do you know? Let me ask you a question, Jake. How many bankers do you know have gone to jail? I don't give a shit about England. How many people in the United States, how many bankers, CEOs of banks, of late, you just saw more, uh, uh, J.P. Morgan, or fucking, it was Wells Fargo, got caught opening 3.5 million fake accounts. How many CEOs of these corporations do you know have gone to jail. Socialism, whole entire narrative throughout the throughout the talk. How many have gone you're to jail? To, you're trying to demonize capitalism and CEOs. No, I'm trying to I'm trying to hold them accountable to the law. To, Fraud. So if I break the law, if I break the law, I go to jail. If Goldman Sachs breaks the law, they don't go to jail. A contract in an open market, and you're going and you're doing business with them. When you're born and you have a social security number stamped on your forehead and you're giving a checking account that, that is related to your social security number which is backed by fractional reserve lending that is not a capitalistic that is not a voluntary contract you're talking about the difference between force and the non-aggression policy here force is socialism force is taxes non-aggression policy is capitalism is voluntarism and it's, it's freedom. But what we have is behind the scenes, behind our government, is a form of money that is not voluntary. It is not free. It is fake. It's debt money created by fractional reserve lending. So you're trying to base your your assumptions on socialism and, and, and how everything's running amok and the CEOs and the rich people and, 
and you're trying to blame capitalism when it's something that construct that's happening behind capitalism that is forcing all the money to go up into the, the, the wealthy and the powerful and, and, and everything instead of being freely associated and freely circulated down in the normal ranks of people. When was the last time somebody of what when was somebody when was the last time somebody of power stepped down and said, Ah, you know what, I don't want to be the I don't want to be powerful and rich anymore. I just I, I I'll concede because I think you're you're, you're talking about Because there's a lot of people there's a lot of people that are gonna watch this. I'm just trying to explain your logical Jake, a lot of people watching this are gonna they want they want armed revolution. No, I want the corporations the to pay their fair share of tax. That's, the That's corporations different. Corporations are the rich people, the same thing. They're the, the ones who own the corporations are the rich people. So you want the government, which is in bed, the oligarchy. All the problems, bed, all the problems people. this country you faces, tax them sir. Take their money. When they tax them, they don't give you any services out of that. They take, let's say they take $100 million from J.P. Morgan, right? They're going to take $80 million of that, spread it out through um, military uh, uh Industrial complex, uh, whatever you know, buying guns and selling guns to their rich friends. Not if you take the money out of politics. Of Listen, not if you take the money out of politics. Million of that money, and they're going to create your police force, your your water your water um, lines, your your schooling, and all this stuff. They're going to take all the money anyway. So you're saying, oh my God, J.P. Morgan's making so much money. Let's have the government take eighty percent of it and then give it back to us, a private company, J.P. Morgan. Take eighty percent of their money and give it back to us. When well, then they take that eighty million dollars and they, or, or they take eighty percent of a hundred million. They take that eighty million dollars and they take another ten percent of that eight million, and then that's what they give you for okay. your service. Do you remember? Because do you remember two thousand eight? Were you were you part of uh, Occupy Wall Street? Do you know what it what it meant and what it was for? What it was all about? That what it exposed? I was fifteen years old. So you're a young man. So what what basically happened was that that a couple of brave souls put their finger on the problem, which is the problem we're talking about. But They're the solution, the, the solution that we came up with was to. They're socialists. That's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You might as well they're, call them communists. They're, they're, they're and they're you're a socialist, sir. You are. You believe in the socialist system. You want you want the government to flip over backwards for the banks. I do. The, the definition of the definition that the Russians had, the Russians tried to put it on the Americans. The Americans tried to put it on the Russians. You get the Federal Reserve, which is a private company, right? It's a yeah. private company that shouldn't be involved in the three branches of government. Once you get the Federal Reserve out and you have free associations. You're, you're mixing up, people, you're mixing up a, a, some theoretical political. And, 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 and give it to whoever you want. It's not no, you give it to the people. Purchase. Right yeah. After you break up does. the banks, after you after you break up the monopoly, because at this time, my it's, it's see that see that's part of. We're not looking to leave any people without schools or anybody without cops in their local. The, the whole entire way to privatize and get the money, uh, the, the fake money out of out of the government is to privatize. Because right. when you have a private company like FedEx or like UPS competing for somebody's money. The prices get lower, the service gets higher, they have to go to a whole different step in tune. Think about going into the DMV compared to going into a, a, a Lamborghini <laughs> dealership, okay? okay? They're sitting there, they're ready to serve you, they're ready to work. So you have to think about, first, are, are, are we are being corrupted by capitalism, but it's at above where capitalism is. Capitalism is a private company called the Federal Reserve stealing our money. I think you give too much credit to the Federal Reserve. The banks have way more power than you think. The power, okay, yeah, Federal, Federal Reserve, Reserve is a bank. It's called the Federal Reserve Bank. Yeah, but the, but you you you're discounting you're discounting the power that the six major banks in this country have. They control the stock market. They, they control are, the they're underneath the Federal Reserve. Barely. They buy they buy treasury bonds from the Federal Reserve to create their money. Right. It, barely. Barely. They work. They're in cahoots. They're on. Not at all. Not barely at all. One of them. Okay. They, they are in cahoots, but. All right. So. The reserve is owned by. We got to wrap it up. Actual, we got to. We're going to wrap. <laughs> the 
Federal Reserve is owned by the actual elites and controlling crazy people of the world. And they set up these smaller privatized institutions after they already fudge with our money. The, these privatized banks and institutions, once they, once they get all the fake money out of them, would actually be the institutions that we need to control our, our monetary system. But the problem is they're being handed fake money by the Fed, and then they have to do all these freaking uh, gymnastics to basically get you the money that, that's not backed by right. anything. And that's where you have all these CEOs of these companies making hundreds of million dollars and, and everything not trickling down is because the money that they're being handed is fake in the beginning and it doesn't have any actual buying power and every single dollar that you spend is actually going to uh, inflation and it increases inflation. The system's rigged. So you can't expect the people at the bottom of the system at the top to be seeing anything fairly. That's why they want the $100 million CEOs and the big companies and innovative, awesome companies that the world has been able to produce to be dismantled and give us all your money, give us all your innovation, give us all your hard work. We want it. It's because they've, they've been given the short end of the stick right from the beginning. And until that is fixed, right. you're not going to be able to see right. free, voluntary, social, or, so uh, let's... free, voluntary capitalism actually work. If okay. you want socialism, you want forceful taking of other people's property and hard work and re redistributing it however you feel. That is not what humanity is about. That's not what freedom is about. Okay. Just because you, you think you know better doesn't mean you actually do it. You need to let every single person work them out. Okay. That. All right. So let's let's wrap it up. So so the event uh, it's and, and believe me, I, I love that you challenge me and I hope that you appreciate me challenging you today um i hope your event grows i hope socialism that socialism is, is is rooting because the people don't have enough money i'm not a fucking socialist i'm not a socialist stop using the fucking term socialist i'm not a socialist i'm a, i'm a guy with his eyes open i'm twice your age i've seen all kinds of shit and i'm telling you it's the fucking banks that's my opinion you're not going to change my opinion so so <laughs> i'm sorry for yelling at you so so I, I'll, I'll give you the last word so the so I think that these are the discussions that I think that through the filter of like 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 if we if you and I were communicating through Facebook or we're typing back and forth, I think a lot gets gets lost. I think there still is a filter between you and I right now, but this is good. And I think when people come and stand next to one another in the street, that's even better. So that's why I I whether I believe whether I agree with your 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 political world view or not I think we do agree we just disagree on the solution that's all that's all we agree you and I are radical to the extreme that we agree 100% on the problem but we don't agree on the solution and I think that's why well, movements you have to ask yourself if you I, I already asked myself I already I'm policy. gonna give you the last I'm gonna give you the last well, you agree with the non-aggression policy the NAP I agree with non-aggression, absolutely. I, of course. So you can't possibly agree with taxes because taxes are for are are, are non-voluntary force. That's taxes. that's a stretch, but I'll, I'll I'll let you say it. Who cares? Well, when you let people associate with themselves, I mean, we're good people. Every, you know, we're human. Humans have light inside them. You know, it's not like we want to see. You could say that. A, you could say like that, that. You could say that a TV commercial that that portrays rich people in front of poor people, like. If you broadcast an image of a wealthy family with 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 every luxury and the the new car and new house, and you broadcast that image to poor people, you could say that that's aggression. Chris Hedges calls it an act of violence. So you can't you can't define you can't define. Uh, uh, I think that's forgot. weird. Yeah. Statement, but um, I guess um, I don't know where you can say it's motivating. You know. Get, get some local companies together, get your pipelines in order, get your right. plumbing in order, start getting your local construction companies do you, do together. Do you plan to... Build is, the infrastructure. Right. Is the, is you know your, I mean? Like, so all the, the problem with a lot of this immigration is the uh, they're just looking to come in and, and settle into uh, an already existing economy and, and structure right. that has all these amenities to it instead of saying, hey, I see some opportunities here. There's not... Uh, uh, a lot of purified water sources here. Maybe I'm going to go find a, a reservoir or build a, a well. And then I'm going to 
create pipelines and machinery to, to bring that to the surface and bring that to my local community that I'm going to charge people, right. you know, X, Y, Z dollars a month to get that. They're not looking to do those innovations and start to make construction companies and uh, technological companies to bring more money to the area. A lot of these areas and a lot of these immigrants aren't looking to do that. And that's one of the new things I have on the website, build up. Your local communities. Yes, if there's a humanitarian crisis and we need to take. How are you going to do it? Who's going to build up the community if you refugees? if you don't have a if you don't have any any social service oh, programs? Talking, if you don't have any social programs, any. Post-fed. We're talking about post-fed. post-fed. We're talking oh. about where it's not a system designed to have the, okay. the, the poor people stay poor. Right now, the reason why fractional reserve lending was created was to have poor people stay poor, the workers stay workers, everybody stay low. So. Once you get rid of the, the number one, the highest unsurmountable thing that has us all broke and, and living from recession to recession, then all the economic opportunities, the prosperity, the free market starts to really take effect, which we see in the 18th century and, and in the early 19th century right. to have all these technological advancements without you know the crazy government oversight that comes along with authoritarianism. So you know that that that's really what I want to you know. And on there is, right. is so so the let's plug let's plug let's plug the event one more time so it's it's uh the the fed reserve it's right it's right down there on wall street zuccotti park I'm around the corner wall street. I live on wall street. you live on wall street zuccotti park there's there's the new york stock exchange um are you do you plan to continue what are you waiting for to see the outcome of this one and then possibly we continue on? we have two goals um is there one plan for after this? Because I won't be there tomorrow. No, we don't have any plan for after this. We have some some world marches that, that may happen um, uh, on a later date. But for the United States, we have one plan. We have one goal. And it's what Trump's talking about. Right. Get the Federal Reserve out. So we're going to do this march. We're going to stay there. We're going to march hard and get as much media attention as we possibly can. Create a lot of okay. uh, attention and, and, and get our word out there. Hopefully... That gets to our president's ear. He signs executive order. You're paying out of your pocket for this? There's no, you have no sponsors for this event? Any yeah, sponsors? It's coming right out of, uh, out of your pocket. My, my company's Leafy Social, Social Model Management. Coming right out of. You want to uh, talk about that? Go ahead, plug it. Go ahead. Social, ma- yeah, I saw that. So, social mo- modeling management. Go ahead. Yeah, well, uh, let me finish. We're, we're you know, we're going to be marching over there. Uh, around 11 o'clock and we're going to be petitioning towards Trump to hopefully make the changes needed, get fractional reserve lending, get out of banking, get central banks out of the country. Mm-hmm. And as soon as we're done with that, then we're going to be taking our, our efforts global, trying to get central banks out of the major countries worldwide and, and communicate efforts between the citizens of those countries to their leaders to try to get the central banks out. Mm-hmm. Sounds if, good. If, yes. If what we think is true tends to actually be true, Trump would never and should never end the Federal Reserve because he's part of the money-making system of the Luciferian, Satanistic, world, one-world government system that's trying to perpetuate this. So it may never work petitioning to our world leaders, the the oligarchs in power, to get this fractional reserve lending. Change comes from the bottom up, not the top down. Yes. The people. That's what the yellow vests are about. America, we think that we have Trump, and we think he's a patriot, and we're going to test that theory out, because if he's serious, and he sees the American people, if we get 1,000, 10,000 people, similar numbers to the yellow vests out in France, if we get that amount of people throughout our organizations and our marches out on the streets, and Trump gets wind of that, and what we're trying to accomplish here, and he comes through on us, then that's good, that's all we're going to have to take, if democracy comes through. Trump listens to the people. We want the central banking out. He gets it out. If that never happens, we're going to have to re-strategize and rethink our whole entire approach to taking our country back and taking our, our monetary system back. Because, you know, we're calling to our leaders and to the people in power here to help us out. But if they don't, we're on our own. Mm-hmm. And we're going to need to figure out how we approach this, how we protect our Bill of Rights and protect our monetary system. Because I, for one... As of January 1st, I don't want to spend any Federal Reserve notes. Note is a, a, a note you pass somebody else. I owe you something. Literally means debt. It's literally not back. It's really a note 
from one person to another, actually from the bank to yourself, I owe you this money. And I'm done spending their Federal Reserve notes. I'm done playing in their money market system and having my uh, my wire transfers that come in from my company coming out of Bank of America, coming out of Chase, closing down my merchant accounts with them. Sounds getting, good. Uh, it, it's going to be pain. I getting credit unions to, to accept my credit cards and stuff like that. I'm trying to lead this positively and show people that we can overcome them. We don't need their Federal Reserve note. We can go back to the U.S. gold dollar and we will stop on January 1st associating with this Luciferian safe border Federal Reserve note that has every single time you pay and spend with it, you are matrixing your power to them. You're, you are subverting yourself to this one world government, to the Illuminati freaking uh, symbol right on the dollar. You're in their system. You're playing their game. You're, you're, you're in their clutches. So we need to get out of there first. Then we can have the intelligent discussions of what do we do with all this new money that's in everybody's pocket? How do we open up better schools? How do we open up better pipelines? Look at Ferguson, Missouri. You think their government, 80% taxes, 40% taxes, which is what it's at now for for capitalist uh, for, for large corporations at 40% right now. Do you think their government, you think that huge money to trillions of dollars they're taking in has ever fixed their water pipelines? No. Yeah. Because they don't, the tax never hits the economy because they, they subvert it in terms yes, of it, it, a tax avo avoidance. They're not actually, are you still there, mate? Oh, shit, I think we lost him. I see me, but I don't see him. Oh, damn. Damn, fucking lost Jake. He's going to think I hung up on him. You saw I didn't touch the thing, right? Let me just say goodbye. All right, so so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with him in a second. I think my phone is on fire, that's why. So that was a good talk, right? That was uh, Jake, Jake, uh, Jake Lang at the, uh, the march. That's uh, January 1st. He said it's 11 a.m. now. Oh, I think he's calling me. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't know how to... T I'm fucking such an idiot with this. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. All right, Marcus Conti reporting. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Peace out.